Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's been a long one. I know, apologize. I've been focusing on my other channel, the food one, and I'll put the link below, but that's all I'm gonna say about it. But today, we're gonna do a little bit of a real world review. I've got this new, I'm gonna call it day bag. Uh, I have a big think tank bag, but it's really big, really heavy. When you wanna go walk around, you know, say a city, Go on, a, go on a short hike or something, just walk around with a little bit of gear. There are so many choices out there. I, I really I really had a hard time, but then Vanguard, that's the, the bag, the model. Uh, I just, I don't know, it stuck out to me. I liked the, the design of it. It looked nice and sleek. It's actually very thin, as you can see. Like all my reviews, I like to use uh, the product for a little while and actually give it a fair shot before I actually talk about it because I don't think it's fair to do it less. That's just me. You know, if you have something for a week, that's not long enough. Uh, I've used it, yeah, about three months. So I've used it a lot. I've walked around cities. I've gone on little hikes. Uh, you know, you pack a little bit of gear. Just, just what you're gonna need. What, or what you think you're gonna need. And uh, it's been great. Anyways, it took a little getting used to because on the back side, which is, this is the part that is on your back, you actually have the zippers open to where everything is held. Nice, clean design, uh, a spot for a tablet, your body, these are all Velcro. So you can configure uh, the, the layout to whatever you need based on your gear. There is a pocket in here. Uh, another way to get to that one is if you actually pop these clasps, one and two. It has a drawstring here, so you just pull the knob, open it up and you can get into that pocket that way as well. It, gets a, it, it takes a little getting used to, but you know what, it works. You've got a pocket on this side, you've got a pocket on this side, so if you've got a small tripod, put it in one side, got a bottle of water, throw it in the other. It's fully adjustable, the, uh, these guys are fully adjustable, very easy, just pull it or pull it to shrink it up, depending on how big you are. And let's show you, let's, uh, let's fill it up and uh, show you what it can hold. I got a small selection of stuff here. Uh, so this is the EOS R with the EF 1 to 400 on it. I'm gonna throw, the... before I start, this top compartment, I forgot to mention, it does come out and this is all open space if you want it that way. I prefer to have it in there. It, it's a nice way to hold batteries and all the small things. But you can take it out if you want. This guy, we're gonna put right in the middle. So now it depends what you want. Um, it, it comes with several of these guys so you can add. I've got a 100 macro, let's throw that in there. 85 RF, throw that in there. You know what, the 50 here is small enough that if I really wanted to, I could throw it in this top compartment. Couple extra batteries, lighter, you never know. Smoke grenade, you never know. Uh, flash, we're not gonna use that today. Flashlight, throw that in there. So there we go. Now, if you got a small little tripod, stick that in the side. You could throw a bottle of water on the other side. Throw that on. It's nice and slim. It doesn't stick out too far. As you can see. Actually, that's quite a bit of gear I put in there. Uh, I just wanted to show you 
you can load it up uh, if you've got some smaller lenses if you didn't want to bring a telephoto leave the one out and put in a couple smaller lenses that's totally up to you depending on what you're doing that's kind of like my everyday carry i i would load in the in the bag here and just take that with me the big bag is nice if you're traveling you can throw everything in it and take it with you but you know go on a little day trip or something just take this and uh you'll be very happy oh yeah for one more thing it's got a zipper up here and it actually has this comes with the full rain cover so it's actually more space throw a pen or marker in no, it's, it's great. Uh, it's not too expensive. I'm very happy with it. Um, I would recommend it. I've never owned a bag from Vanguard before, but it's very well built. I'm not easy on my gear because I actually use my gear and I throw it around and not the, not the bodies, don't worry, or the lenses, but the bags and stuff, uh, it's, it's very well built. We'll see how it is in a year. But there again, depending on your needs, like I said, there are so many bags out there. <sighs> Take your time, see what fits you. Uh, maybe you need something else. There is a bigger version of this as well. But for me, that was that was right. And I made the right choice and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Well, thanks for stopping in. That was just a quick one today, but uh, I hope you guys like these review videos. Uh, Hit that like, hit that subscribe, leave me some comments, and uh, yeah, I have more coming. Uh, a couple of those lenses are new for me, so I just haven't had them long enough, but I will be doing reviews on them as well. Like I said, I like to use them, have enough video and photos done with them just to really test them out and see what they can do. But anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one and get out there and shoot.